Hello friends, myself Vivi Gontra, Assistant Professor, Shelf Insure Technology in Chelkaray. So today in this video, I am going to discuss inverse Laplace transfer of n order derivative of the function f of x. So for that, I am going to use the result if n inverse of f of s is equal to f of t, then n inverse of n the derivative of f of s with respect to s which is given by minus 1 to the power of n t to the power of n into f of so in particular particular i can say if n inverse of f of s equal to f of s f of t then so here i put n equal to 1 so it becomes first order derivative so it becomes n inverse of d by ds of f of s which is equal to minus 1 to the power 1 t is nothing but minus 1 t is to 1 so here also I will put n equal to 1 it becomes t into f of t so while solving the example I am going to use this result so this result is mainly applicable when the function is either logarithmic or inverse denominator uh, inverse function to find the inverse Laplace transform of logarithmic function or inverse trigonometric function, we are going to use the derivative concept method. So now you will see take some examples. So find first example, find L inverse of log of s plus 1 upon s minus so we can observe here we are not having any formula to for, for log of s plus 1 upon s minus 1 so to solve such type of example I am going to use derivative concept Solution let f of s is equal to log of s plus 1 upon s minus 1. So now what I do? I will differentiate both sides with respect to s. So it becomes d by ds of f of s is equal to d by ds of d by ds of log of s plus 1 upon s minus 1 so this is the derivative so then d by ds of f of s so which is equal to d by ds of so first I will explain this one, then I will go for the derivative. So it is in the form of log a upon b. So we know that if log a, log a upon b is the number, log of a minus log of b. Log of b. So therefore, d by ds of f of s is equal to is equal to now I will differentiate these two functions with respect to s we know that derivative of log is 1 upon x that is 1 upon s plus 1 and derivative of second one is what it becomes 1 upon s minus 1 so now I will apply inverse Laplace on both sides so L inverse of d by ds of f of s is equal to L inverse of 1 upon s plus 1 minus 1 upon s minus so these two functions are in the standard form so this becomes L inverse of d, 
d of f of s with respect to s is given by minus t into f of t. So which is equal to which is equal to L inverse of 1 upon S plus 1 is nothing but e to the power of minus t minus and inverse of plus of this one is e to the power of plus t. So therefore, so I want f of t. So in, first I will multiply minus on both sides in terms t into f of t is equal to e to the power of t minus e to the power of minus t. So this becomes negative and this one become positive. So therefore f of t is equal to e to the power of t minus e to the power of minus t divided by t. Divided by t. So now the question is for this one I have written here minus t into f of t. For that I have used the result So I will write here the result L inverse of is equal to minus t into f of t. So by using this result, I have written this one as minus t into f of t and L inverse of the first function is e to the power of minus t and the second one is e to the power of 1. So then I have multiplied minus sign on both sides. So it becomes t into f of t which is equal to the power of t minus e to the power of minus t where there f of t is nothing. Therefore f of t is e to the power of t minus e to the power of minus t f of t. So this is the required result. So we will take one more example. Plus. 
So now I will apply inverse Laplace on both sides. It becomes L inverse of d by ds of f of s is equal to L inverse of 2 upon s square plus 2 upon s square plus. So already we know that L inverse of d by ds of f of s is nothing but minus t into f of t. So which is equal to here 2 is constant. So remaining is here L inverse of 1 upon s square plus 4. So here it is in the form of what? L inverse of 1 upon s square plus k square is equal to 1 upon k sine a into t. So therefore you become L inverse of 1 upon s square plus 2 square is equal So here I have forgotten to write minus sign. So it is what minus because here we are having minus minus so this one becomes 1 upon 2 psi 2 into a. So a inverse of 1 upon a square plus a square is 1 upon a into psi 2. So minus i minus get cancelled. 2 i to get cancelled here. Therefore f of t is equal to psi 2t divided by t. So this is what our y. So this is the second problem on uh, derivative. Now I will take one more example. So next example is. L inverse of cot inverse of S plus 3 upon 2. So this is the important example. Solution. So let us consider F of S is equal to cot inverse of S yes, plus 3 upon 2. So differentiate is with respect to S on both sides. I will get here d by ds of f of S is equal to d by ds of cot inverse of S yes, plus 3 upon so d by ds of f of s is equal to so derivative of this one again derivative of cot inverse of x is nothing but minus 1 upon x square plus 1 that is s plus 3 whole square upon 2 square is 4 1 upon x square plus 1 treat this one as some x into derivative of s plus 3 upon 2 is nothing but 1 upon 2 because derivative of s with respect to s is 1, this one is 0, remaining is 1 upon 2. So now I will simplify this one. t by ds of f of s is equal to again. Sorry, have, here I have done a small mistake d by ds of cot inverse of x is nothing but 1 upon x square plus 1. So here I have to write 1. 1 upon minus 1 upon x square plus 1. So d by ds of this one. Now I will take the same here. The same is 4. So first I have taken the LCB here. So 4 into 1 is 4. It becomes S plus 3 whole square plus 4. Upon 4 I have taken this 4 to what? Numerator. Into 1 upon 
therefore d by ds of f of s is equal to to and to get cancel here remaining is minus 2 upon s plus 3 square plus so as similar to previous example now I will apply L inverse on both sides L inverse of d by ds of f of s is equal to L inverse of L two is constant. I will write constant in Laplace inverse. L inverse of one upon S plus three square plus two square. I will write this in another four S two square. So now, so L inverse of d by dx of f of s is given by minus p into f of s. So minus so here I will apply shifting property, first shifting property. So as per the first shifting property, it becomes e to the power of minus 3p L inverse of remaining in L 1 upon S square plus 2 square. So S plus 3 whole square. I have applied shifting property and I have taken it to minus 3, minus 3t three outside the inverse. Therefore, minus t into f of t is equal to minus 2 e to the power of minus 3 into t. So, n is also 1 upon s square plus 2 square is nothing but I get 1 upon 2 sin 2 into so minus and minus get cancelled on both sides. 2 into get cancelled. Therefore, f of t is equal to e to the power of minus 3t sin 2t divided by t. So this is the what required answer. So in this video we have seen how to solve, how to find inverse Laplace transform of logarithmic function and inverse trigonometric function. Thank you.